Ukraine threatens more attacks on Crimea. Kiev is preparing another attack on Crimea. In the next several days, Kirill Budanov, head of Ukrainian military's main intelligence directorate, told. In an interview with the Ukrainian outlet ITV, Budanov claimed that there were a lot of people on the peninsula who are eagerly anticipating the return of Ukrainian rule and that Kiev needs to instill confidence among them. That is why initiatives like the Crimean platform are crucial. This involves resistance in the temporarily occupied territories and the removal of occupiers from our Crimea. Our actions are apparent now, with more to come in the next few days. Budanov said the Crimean platform is an initiative of President Volodymyr Zelensky's government which seeks to portray Russia as the occupier and oppressor of Crimean Tatars. Budanov's comments about apparent Ukrainian actions appear to be a reference to last week's admission by the Security Service Chief of Ukraine, Vasily Maliuk, that the July 17th attack on the Crimean bridge was carried out by Ukrainian sea drones. Maliuk sent footage of the drone attack to CNN and other US outlets, calling the drone Sea Baby and promising more strikes to come. Ukraine has stepped up its attacks on Crimea in recent weeks, targeting the bridge from Taman to Kirsch with air and sea drones as well as long-range missiles provided by the West. British Ministry of Defence says that after heavy strikes on the bridges at Chongar and Genichesk, the Russians were forced to rely on only one long route for their logistics in Crimea. It was reported that the Russians are now building pontoon crossings on the border of southern Ukraine with Crimea. After the heavy blows inflicted by Ukraine on the Chongar and Genichesk bridges in mid-August, it is unlikely that this infrastructure will be able to withstand the heavy load of Russian heavy equipment and ammunition. Narrow places have appeared in Crimea. This means that Russia relies on the long route through Armyansk. This creates additional difficulties for the logistics network in the south of Russia.